Hey everyone, JT from eBike Escape here. In today's video, we are gonna unbox and take a look at a bike that really surprised us here at eBike Escape for 2023, the all new electric Expedition. So let's get into it. Holding back my excitement to get this thing out of the box, let me just ask everybody a couple quick favors. If you are looking to purchase your own electric expedition or any electric e-bikes, please consider using the links down in the description. All purchases made through those links help directly support e-bike escape, helps continue to make content like this. Also linked down in the description, we'll have links to our top e-bikes brands page, our e-bike accessories list, and our e-bikes discount codes page where we track all the deals on the electric bike brands that we follow. With all of that out of the way, let's get this thing out of the box. I am so excited to see what this thing looks like in person. I guess that's really kind of a faux pas. I have actually seen one of these in person. Um, we were actually at Electric Headquarters in Arizona for the XP trike review that we did. We'll link that in the upper right-hand corner. Electric had a couple of these there on premises that we were able to see, and we are super excited for this bike. This thing is an amazingly spec e-bike, especially for the price. We're gonna go ahead and throw the price on the screen now. Only reason I'm not gonna say it verbally is I don't know if the price has changed at all since we were out there, but they, it was rumored to be around $1,500 up and down from that, depending on whether you got the long range bike or the standard range bike. So the unboxing process for this e-bike is pretty standard for electric. It comes to your door fully assembled, which for a cargo e-bike is really cool. It is a little bit longer of a box and it's a more larger footprint of a box than what we're used to seeing from electric. But if you come around the side over here, I did want to point out, it says, do not lay the bike flat. And then if you come down here, you'll notice there's a picture. And so this picture is how the bike will actually come out of the box. And then it also says open along this edge. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the other edge open and pull this bike out so we can get a look at it. A couple of uh, tricks out of their sleeves to get this thing delivered to you. Uh, when we were in Arizona, we were talking to Levi and he was telling us that he really had to work with FedEx to get a um, really cheap shipping price for this barge of a box. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and slide this out of the way, put down the cargo kickstand. All right. All right, here is the electric expedition. You can see it comes almost completely assembled. I do know it is missing a couple things. It's missing some pedals, which we'll have to put on, but electric did think about that. I'll show you that when we get there. And then also you do have to put the seat post in as that comes uh, shipped in a box on in the back here that you saw me take off. We'll go ahead and look at all of that stuff, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get to cutting some zip ties and stuff. One thing I did notice when pulling it out though, is that on here on the front, there is this nice yellow strap that goes right around the top of the fork that you're actually supposed to use to pull the bike out of the box. So when you're, if you do get your own expedition and you cut it on the sides, make sure that you are cutting open the front side of the box as you just pull out a piece of styrofoam and a piece of cardboard. And then you can literally just pull the bike right out of the box. Really cool to see. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of this other stuff off it and unwrapped and give you guys a close look. All right, here is a better look at the almost completely unwrapped electric expedition e-bike. Again, like I said, this is the long range version. So it comes with two 14 amp hour batteries. They sit right there and there. And if you also notice on the top, it says that the batteries will go to sleep ever after 48 hours. That's good to note. We did notice that on our X premium that the batteries would go to sleep. And so every once in a while, every you leave it sitting for two days and you go try to turn the bike on and be like, it's not working. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Just the battery's going to sleep. You simply push the buttons on the top of the battery level check button right here and the lights will turn on and you are good to ride. They also have some really cool accessories. They have a kid, of course, uh, contraption in the back, the kid carrier per se. They have a really cool name for it. It's called the Orbiter. They also have some other cool accessories for if you have an adult passenger or anything like that and you have some bottom baseboards. But again, the bike does come in a very slim down version so you can kind of customize it and make it your own. The handlebars also come fully assembled. And the way they do that is they have a folding stem, obviously here, so the handlebars can be folded down and get out of the way. And then also here, they have this adjustable stem that you simply push up on this button, lift the lever, 
and get move the screen out of your way. And then you can simply turn the handlebars to whatever angle you want, as well as angle them up and down. So you can really adjust this cockpit. I really like these adjustable stems and seeing them on a bike like this is really cool to see. And then to lock it, you simply just push down and and it's good and locked, it's not gonna move on you. Handlebars don't turn. These are the same soft grips that we saw on the 3.0. And if you also notice up here, we have hydraulic disc brakes. Really, really happy to see hydraulic disc brakes. It's probably one of the things that we miss the most on cargo bikes. And if you notice around this bike, Electric really utilized a lot of the components that they already know and already have on a lot of their bikes. So it allowed them to really keep the price of this bike really low. This is the same 14 amp hour battery that you see on the trike, as well as a battery that you can use to upgrade your X premium to a 14 amp hour if you wanted to. And then in the back here, it comes shipped with plexiglass little protectors on the wheels, which is a really cool thing to see. Something we have seen some manufacturers sell after market that you have to buy as an extra. Electric includes that. The carrying capability of this bike, we'll go ahead and actually throw on the screen now, because uh, I know it's changed a little bit since we initially did look that one, but it's really cool to see. I am missing the seat post. I'll show you that box real quick, and I'll also show you the pedals. But I just wanted to point out that the down tube here has a very similar electric down tube that we're noticing. Again, this is hollow. There is no battery in there. And then not even the controllers in there as the controller is mounted down here on the bottom. And it also has a cargo kickstand. And let's go ahead and look at the seat tube that comes with the bike. So here is the uh, box here. It comes with the charger and the pedals. I'll show you those in just a minute. And then here's a quick look at the seat tube. Now, really cool to see, this is a telescoping seat tube. So it allows you to really, if say you have a mom and a dad that are riding or sharing this bike and they're different heights, this allows you to adjust that height. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the bike real quick. Here's a look at that installed seat tube. Again, like I said, it is a telescoping seat tube. So you have larger diameter on the bottom to a smaller diameter. You have two clamps here that you can kind of play with so you can really dial in that height. It really is nice to see that. It allows if maybe you're trying to swap between two parents that are of different heights, so they can just maybe have the bottom adjusted to mom or dad and then the top adjusted to the other. Really nice to see. And then these are the pedals. So these are really cool pedals to see. This is something Electric was very proud of. So if they had to put folding pedals on here, they would still stick out a little bit. So in order for them to be able to ship you a fully assembled bike in a bike box that was not much larger, they put on these quick release pedals. So what you do is you simply pull this ring out. There are actually arrows there and you match up your letters, R for right, and then you pull it in and it's really hard to do this one-handed, so please bear with me here. There you go. But there's a look at the pedal. And so one thing to point out too, that this is a Allen head on this end. So when you go to line it up in that hole, it does take a little bit of negotiating to make sure that it gets completely lined up. So when it's not lined up, it'll sit there, simply turn it a little bit to get it to pop into that diameter. And then you simply apply forward pressure, pull out on the ring, the pedal will click in, and then give it a good tug out and make sure the pedal doesn't come out. But there you go. Then it is the same to the right and the left. You have the really nice quick release. These are also really nice pinned pedals. So if you're trying to apply that little extra pressure for your cargo to get moving. Also in the box with the seat and pedals was the charger. This is the standard two amp charger that you see with a lot of electric e-bikes. But to note, there is only one charger for two batteries. Not really too big of a deal for us as you can kind of charge them up maybe one at a time, but as well as having 28 amp hours to work with here, the range you're gonna get out of this bike is immense. And then on the subject of range, Electric did tell us that the Electric Expedition is also a bike that is going to start utilizing the current-based power level system versus the speed-based of the old bikes. So it really should allow you to be able to get a lot of extra range. What you do is simply use the higher pedal assist levels to they reach a max speed that you want. And then you can kind of turn down the levels of actual wattage when you get to that speed because you don't need a lot of power to maintain a speed. You just need a lot of power to get up to a speed. Electric was also telling us that this motor in the rear here was something that they were very proud of as well as the controller tuning that they were able to almost start climbing a hill and maintain that speed all the way up no matter what the gradient was. So this should be a very powerful and capable motor and controller for somebody that's gonna be saying carrying cargo a lot or carrying their kids around 
I'm really excited to put that to the test again. Like I said, when the weather changes here for us, my kids are really excited to give this cargo e-bike a shot. They really love their Flyer L885, but maybe this will be able to take the cake. Having those tooly up windows and also that kid orbiter and pads that we saw on some of the other bikes is really exciting to see and something that we're really going to enjoy. All right, I, with all that out of the way, I hope that quick overview of the electric expedition kind of gets you excited about the e-bike as we are here at e-bike escape. I know Ryan also has one of these down in Florida, so he's going to have the full review out very soon for everybody. So you don't have to wait for me to have the weather warm up here in Wisconsin to be able to get out on this bike. Again, if you are looking to purchase electric expedition or any electric e-bike or accessory, please consider using the links down in the description. All purchases made through those links help directly support e-bike escape. Thanks for keeping me company while I did this unboxing. I'll see you guys in the next one.